After the tornadoes hit, many of you started commenting online saying you didn't know where to go during severe weather. So the question is, how should you prepare? Here to break down how to prepare is Colin Ickes. He is the director of the Knoxville, Knox County Emergency Management Agency. We really appreciate you being with us. So let's begin. A lot of people saying they don't have a plan in place. They don't know where to go in their home. So what should you do in a situation where you get a tornado warning? What are your thoughts on where to shelter at your house? Sure, thanks, great question. Um, it's important to go ahead and, and uh, right now choose a place to, to take shelter during it during the next tornado. Um, it's best to go to the lowest level in the building that you're in. So if you've got a basement, that's that's perfect. Uh, if you don't have a basement, go to the lowest level, the, the first floor and find an interior room. So uh, away from doors, away from windows, away from exterior walls and uh, and to take shelter there. Colin, what if, what if you're in a car mm -hmm. and this so happens to be the case, what should you do in that situation? Sure, it's, it's not safe to be a, in a car during during a tornado, so it's, it's, it's best to stop. Take shelter in a sturdy building if you can, but if you're not near a building, you're better off getting to a low-lying area, um, covering your neck and, and, uh, um, and your head with your, with your arms to to avoid flying debris. Yeah, like there was a ditch area. Yeah. Exactly, okay. exactly. I was gonna say, because um, a lot of people are on the interstate. Yeah, yeah great, great, que um, great question. Um, getting under an overpass is not a great idea. Uh, that, that could be appealing, but uh, you're better off in a, in a ditch or a low-lying area. Um, it's also not safe to be in, uh, uh, in a mobile home or in uh, buildings that have uh, long, uh, flat roof spans. So um, things like uh, auditoriums, um, some cafeterias or commercial buildings, those are not safe places to be, so it's best to get to get to a sturdy building, take shelter immediately. All right, let's talk about the importance of weather alerts. I know I woke up to mine mm -hmm. um, early around 4.30, 4.45 when the warnings moved through East Tennessee. Um, those are critical for a lot of people. Yeah, really critical to know to know when to, uh, when to take shelter. And we have uh, uh, two recommendations for folks. It's a great idea to get a weather radio. Um, they're not terribly expensive. You can get one for, for about $30. Um, make sure you get one that says S-A-M-E on its specific area message encoding so that you can set it just to get alerts for the county that you live in. Um, we also recommend that everyone in Knox County uh, sign up for our emergency notification system. If you go to knoxcounty.org, uh, look at the bottom left of the website, it'll say countywide alerting. If you click there, you can, uh, you can sign up to get, uh, to get emergency alerts. You can, you can indicate whether you want uh, text messages, uh, voice phone calls, so it's great even if you've got a, got a landline, uh, or, or emails. Uh, you can also tell what locations you want, so you'll get uh, only alerts specific to where you are. You can put in your home address, um, your place of work, um, place of, uh, of, of worship. Um, if you've got uh, kids that go to school, you can put in their, their locations also, so you get the most accurate information for, for right where you are. Colin, uh, many communities have sirens. Mm -hmm. um, we've been asked why Knox County does not have sirens. What, what would the reason be for that? That's, that, that's a great question. Sirens are really expensive. Mm -hmm. um, uh, a single siren can cost between twenty-five and forty thousand dollars, and, and uh, to cover an uh, entire county would take hundreds of sirens. So, uh, cost millions, if not tens of millions of, of dollars. Um, and they're really not the most effective way to, to warn people. Sirens are intended to warn people who are outdoors, um, where you know most people are going to be inside, you know, in their homes, in their business, or or in their car. So, it's really not going to alert a lot of people. And so, we're we're better off, I think. It's certainly much more effective and a lot less expensive to get a weather radio and to sign up for the uh, for the alerting system. All right, Colin Ickes, thank you so much. We appreciate you being with us, Director of Knoxville, Knox County Emergency Management Agency. Thank you, Colin.